Hi everyone, it's Chris speaking. Welcome or welcome back. Today I want to have a chat to you about some of the mental changes that have happened for me since top surgery. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I think a week or two before top surgery, I put out a video basically saying that I wasn't excited for the procedure to happen. That's correct, I wasn't super excited to have that procedure done. Um, it was something that I felt I needed to get done for me, and it was something to tick off the list for me to be able to identify as the person that I am. But I wasn't really really excited to go and have that procedure done that being said i do want to have a quick shout out now to a young man by the name of zach dysphoria is kicking him and he needs to get top surgery unfortunately top surgery in australia is about 11 grand and it's not easy money to come by especially not when you're a young fellow like zach is so i'm gonna pop his gofundme down in my uh my bio if you have any spare dollars and you're in Australia and you want to help a brother out, please click the link and send him a couple of bucks. Um, I donated $20 and I'm spruiking him here and I'm going to give him some more money once I get paid. It Transition is such a hard thing and I think we need to support each other and yeah, that's all I'll say about that. If you've got some money, go chuck some over there. So I want to come now and talk to you about some mental changes that have happened for me after top surgery and after I guess the recovery period. I did have a little bit of post-op depression. Um, that's a topic for another video once I can get those words out more coherently. Um, today I just want to talk to you about basically what's happened in my brain since top surgery is over and recovery is over. Those first eight to ten weeks, I had ten weeks off gym. I was really, really fortunate in that I was able to take my uh, the the compression vest off after about three weeks and I had a little bit more freedom um, then but then from that three week mark to the ten week mark I wasn't really meant to be lifting so I stayed away from the gym. On those last two weeks I was going stir crazy not going to the gym I'm not doing any exercise so I found a 5k walking track and I just did that basically every morning um, and started doing some light cardio just to get back into the swing of, of working out. Now my world has opened up and I didn't realize that it would quite so much since top surgery and really it, it's been driven home as it's been getting hotter here in Australia um, in my comfort levels and my comfort levels surrounding wearing, wearing anything really. Um, prior to top surgery and this is something I really didn't I guess mentally work through prior to learning about transitioning and going down this path was that I was never really comfortable wearing shorts outside of the house. I used to be amazed at people who were um, bigger than me wearing those sort of clothes out of the house and I would get envious that they were comfortable enough to do that, particularly men um, and bigger guys wearing just singlets and being okay. I used to get really envious of people at the gym who wore douchelets or wore singlets and they had like a nip out and I was like I will never be able to do that uh, and that's a connection that I brought into my transition and one of the reasons that I did pursue top surgery is because I wanted that sort of experience. Now after top surgery I I'm now back in the gym, I've been back in the gym for a couple of months now uh, working on that area. Um, it doesn't give me much dysphoria anymore, it's now this chest, shoulders, uh, basically the top half of my torso is a sense of euphoria and when I can see that working it's amazing and top surgery has brought me that. The reason being is that I can now wear tight shirts that show my chest and I can see the muscles working, the muscles working that I always thought that I had. My chest wasn't huge before but I was either binding or wearing uh, sports bras at the gym or taping if I could get away with taping on any given day and I didn't get to see that shape. I didn't get to see how the muscles were defined. I didn't get to see the tapering down to the waist. I'm not going to touch hips. That's that's a whole lot of ball game. Since in the last couple of months, as I've been working out, as my shape has been getting back to, I guess, post-surgery in terms of the muscle mass that I have on my shoulders, my mentality and how I think about my body is so much more positive. It's gotten to the point where basically after surgery I couldn't stop thinking about lower surgery and if it was something that I was going to pursue because I wasn't happy with the journey yet. There's always X, Y and Z to do when it comes to transition. I feel like it's something that you're never really done until you're done. And if you don't want bottom surgery people are going to question that and again that's a whole other topic. 
But for the last probably month and a half, I've stopped thinking about it. Um, obviously, uh, you know, it, it's always in the back of my mind, but I've stopped thinking about it every day or every second of every day, I should say. And it's allowed me to enjoy the body that I have. It's allowed me to work on the body that I have. And there are still changes that are happening within my body. I'm only one, uh, not even one and a half years on I'm T. I think I'm 15 months now. And there's still stuff that's going to happen. My weight distribution's only really just started um, probably in the last, I guess, six months. I've seen it really start shifting. Little bits and pieces were happening prior to that, as you can see in the T updates. But before that, you know, now that I, I can actually work on this body and this is the body that I envisioned myself having, I get to do that. So top surgery was amazing for me, um, but it probably didn't hit home for me that it was amazing until after the fact, until I can go into the gym and I can feel these things. I also don't want to wear a shirt outside. I will, because it's polite, but I go for walks on my lunch breaks, I'm still working at home, and I want to take my shirt off. I want to show the world that I have this chest and it's amazing so I totally get um, why people who have had top surgery just never want to put a shirt on because now I'm one of those those people so it has opened up my world which is why we need to help Zach so go click that link today was a bit of a ramble I just wanted to have a bit of a, a happy chat about what's changed for me positively since top surgery so if you did make it to the end thank you so much for watching if you have questions surrounding top surgery then put them down below um, give me a thumbs up click on my face if you want to see more of this content and i will catch you next time okay bye